Today, I'm going to show you a very interesting case of something called cauda equina syndrome. Cauda equina syndrome is a surgical emergency. So as a spine surgeon, when you see this condition, this has to be treated immediately. So this patient came to see me complaining of severe low back pain, which was gradually worsening over time. And interestingly, over the past year, he also had a lot of urinary difficulties and he had a lot of urinary tract infections. And over a period of time, this condition continued to get worse. When I got an MRI of this patient, the MRI was very, very impressive. And this patient had severe compression of the nerves in their lower back. So let's take a look at it. So this is a side view of the spine. So imagine if you slice the spine straight down the middle and you're looking at it from the side. Right over here are the vertebrae of the lower back. So you start with S1, L5, L4, L3, and L2. Behind the bones is this long tube. This tube is called the spinal canal. And the spinal canal is full of this white fluid, which is called CSF. Inside the CSF, you've got the spinal cord, which branches into a whole bunch of little nerves. And these nerves are called cauda equina. This means horse's tail, because the nerves in the cauda equina literally look like horse's tail. So the spinal canal should pretty much be uniformly open all the way up and down. But over here, you can see that between L4 and L5, you've got severe compression of the cauda equina, and it's basically pinched off. When you look at a cross section at a normal level, for example, right over here at L3, L4, you see that this area in pink is wide open. This is the spinal canal. And all these little dots inside are the spinal nerves. So the nerves are completely happy. But if you look at a cross section at L4 and L5, you see these huge cysts. And these cysts are arising from these facet joints. And the facet joints are the joints between the bones. So over a period of time, over perhaps many, many years, these joints have become really huge. And as a result, they have formed these large cysts. And these cysts are squeezing the nerves from the right and the left. And as a result, you can see that the area available for the cauda equina to pass through has become very, very tight. This is what we call severe spinal stenosis. Stenosis means compression of the nerves. So at this point, I realized that this patient had a cauda equina syndrome, which needed to be treated urgently. Let me show you how I fix this problem. Here is a view of the spine from the back. And what you're looking at over here are the vertebrae L4 and L5. And here's a side view of the L4 and L5. Now, looking at the spine from the back, I made an incision from L4 down to L5, and I removed the part of the bone called the lamina. The lamina is the arch of the bone which covers the spinal canal. So in the case of this patient, he had severe compression of the nerves. And the only way to open up this canal is by removing the lamina. So I did a laminectomy of L4 and L5. But the compression is so severe that you have to remove a majority of the joint between L4 and L5 because, as I showed you earlier, the cross-sectional area available for the cauda equina, the nerves to pass through the spine and the spinal canal, is very, very tight. So you have to open up this area. And the only way you can open up this area is by removing a majority of the facet joint on each side. So this is something called a facetectomy. So you have to do a laminectomy, meaning removing the lamina bone. And also you have to remove the facet joint on each side. This is called a facetectomy. When you do the laminectomy and the facetectomy, you have now decompressed the spinal canal. You have decompressed the cauda equina. But now you have to stabilize the L4 and L5 because by removing the majority of the facet joint between L4 and L5, if you close things up, the spine is going to become unstable. And this patient is going to develop a slip, something called spondylolisthesis. To prevent this from happening, I put two screws into L4, two screws into L5, and connected the screws and locked it with a rod. This is called a fusion. Fusion means stabilization. Afterwards, I put some bone graft on the sides of the spine so that hopefully over a period of time, this bone graft is going to consolidate and it is going to fuse or weld the L4 and L5 bones together. Surgery went uneventfully and afterwards, the patient reported an excellent resolution of the back pain and within a couple of weeks, the urinary problems resolved completely. The important thing about cauda equina syndrome is that it's very rare. So as a surgeon, you always have to be very vigilant. And any patient who complains of bowel and bladder disorder, or if they're having numbness of the groin, you have to think about the possibility of cauda equina syndrome. And most surgeons will recognize this and they will order an MRI. So this was a very satisfying case. The patient did extremely well. 
and I just wanted to show it to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.